Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to load the list, a list view uh, using a list of objects in C Sharp. So your first step is open Visual Studios, uh, which I already did that. And go ahead and create a Windows Form application. So you're going to be on this stage here where I'm at. Let's go ahead and click on your toolbox and add a list view All right, it's a bit bigger click on this little arrow here on top and make sure you, uh, you select the view uh, details let's go ahead and edit columns let's add some columns here let's go ahead and add name Age DOB for date of birth and registration date. So I'm just going to put RD here and let's go ahead and dock this to the parent container. All right, let's go back here and change the width of the columns to uh, 150 each. So that way it's a bit more visible for us. Okay, once we do that, let's go ahead and click the Solution Explorer. Right click on, on the project name. Click Add a new item and we're going to create a new class called Student. Go ahead and click add. Now that I have a new class, it's still in the same namespace, go ahead and make the class public. And let's create uh, some variables here. So public string name. Let's do a getter and a setter. Public string uh, age also getter and setter public is string data birth and public string date So we have this class ready, create an object called student. Now let's go back to our main form, double click on that form. So now we're going to create a class called private void load list view. And here I'll create a few of student objects which I already have created uh, on a different code here. I'll go ahead and I'll make a copy of it and I'll show you what it looks like. So this one, in this sample, I create a new student. And I'm giving a name to the student, an age, and a date of birth, and a registration. There's another way to do this, which is uh, you can do student B. Equals you can use the new, you can use this way. So B equals name. Go ahead and give it a name. Jane Doe. Age 25. Just remember everything is a string. Date of birth. Don't worry about the date of birth in this. And B registration date equals let's put today's date. So this is, will be pretty much the two students that we are looking at that we're gonna be adding to the list view. I mean we can go ahead and do it a third one. Let's do a third one with the sample with the same sample of the second one or the first one. Let's put uh, James 
uh, 14 years old. Also today, so this would be student C. So now I have three object students. And we also have a list here in the form, as we talked about earlier, in a student class. Now we need to add the students to the list field. So I'll go ahead and uh, grab this piece of code to explain to you in a little bit. Uh, all right. So what? Oops. So what this is is all right. Let's I'll start explaining. So this is for student A. So I'm creating a an array, an, a string array here, and I'm adding the elements to that array, which is student A name, student A age, student A date of birth, and student A registration. And then I create a, a list view item, a new list view item, and add this uh, string, uh, this array of a string as an item, and add the list view. So, and I do the same thing for student B. And the same thing is done for student C. All right, so we're all set. This should be good to go to load the list view. But now all I need to do is call this and the uh, at the load form, when the form loads. Okay, let's go ahead and run it. Second is building the project. Oops, there's an error somewhere. Let's see where the error is. Um, let's see here. As you can see, I load all three students with the age, uh, date of birth, registration date. They all different. There are different ways of doing this. Um, this is the easier way to do it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, drop a comment below. Thank you, guys.